Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So as promised, I am learning to make mole from scratch. I'm having to do this video in two parts. So this part is part one and it's essentially where we prepped all of the ingredients and did the first step in making traditional mole pablano. So just a couple quick things to cover before we uh, get into this process. Now, my comadre is showing me how to make this, like I said, from scratch. She's been making this since she was 15 years old with her mother. Um, this is mole pablano. I'm sure that there are a bunch of different kinds of mole. This is just how they do it here in our pueblo in Puebla. Now, um, the other thing is, is that we are making a polvo or powder. Once we get all of these ingredients ground together, which you'll see in part two, this polvo will last for one year and you add a few ingredients when you cook it, um, but the polvo itself, like I said, will last for one year. Um, so it will miss things like the obolita chocolate, sal, uh, the sugar cane, and regular sugar if you choose. So the rest of the ingredients all get ground together but let me go ahead and show you how we do the first part of making mole pablano. And of course, before I forget, let's highlight the comment. So this comment comes from Jonathan and Jonathan um, did something that I love in all of my videos. I love when my videos can bring up an awesome memory for someone, especially when you're in the States and you immigrated to the States at the same age that Diego was when uh, our Diego was when we brought him here. So thank you so much for sharing this memory. I hope that you and your family are well, and I'm glad that my video could help um, reignite that memory. We're using platano macho, which is plantains. We're also going to use galletas de animalitos, so animal crackers. We're going to use cacahuates, or in English, peanuts. ¿Cómo se dice? Piloncillo. Peloncillo, mm -hmm. which is like a sugar. Do you know what this is in English? Sugar cane. Sugar cane. We also will use pasa or raisins. We also have garlic or ajo. We're going mm -hmm. to be using an onion as well. And we also have anise, but I can't remember what the name of this in English. It honestly smells like black or licorice. So you can put it in the comments if you know what it is in English. Mm -hmm. We also are using anjolín, anjolín, I'm doing my best. <laughs> They're sesame seeds in English. Using, of course, members' marks. I got it at Sam's Club, but <laughs> we are using canela, which is cinnamon. And we're going to use two different types of chilies. The first one is going to be chili, chile muleto. I don't know what this is in English, but if you do, you can absolutely put it in the comments. Second chili is chile vacía. I also don't know what this is in English, so again... Put it in the comments if you know. Mm -hmm. And because this is mole pablano, we are putting in obolita chocolate. Now the plantains or the platano macho, we are frying in oil. Necesita mucho, mucho frito. Sí. She's entrusted me with frying the platanos. <laughs> I'm trying not to mess it up. These smell amazing. Like my grandma's house. Like the way my grandma's house would smell when she bakes bread. That's what this reminds me of. I almost want to cry. <laughs> but that's because I'm a crybaby. They smell so good. So in case you're wondering why you fry the platanos, it's so that they don't get sticky and stick when you um, blend all of the ingredients together to make the polvo or powder. All right, so these ones that are brown are ready to come out. So we're going to transfer them to this pot. Pues Candy quiere que le haga una 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 con una lumbre por una fogata para para el que va a ser van a hacer este un poco de mole este día. Entonces están en el proceso de mole. Y están adentro, entonces yo les estoy haciendo un, un poco de nombre para que agarre el, el, el carbón, pero entonces ahí les estoy unas pocas de, de, 
herramienta que tengo ahí tengo carbón pero más para que para que encandile el carbón rápido entonces este pues sí aquí preparándole la lumbre aquí a mi esposa y hasta a la que están adentro preparándose pues, para para ver el proceso de lo que es en el pole el, el mole de aquí de Puebla entonces este empezamos con la lumbre más que nada hacer la lumbre para empezar a cocinar las a empezar a preparar las cosas y este y aquí, bueno, nosotros más, bueno nosotros no estamos haciendo la lumbre ya lo demás esa parte su mamá les dice tú cómo hacer esto comadre sí sí lo que se enseñó ella sí y sí. cocinar esto con ella mucho sí sí cuántos años cuántos años, años tienen usted cuando tú es cocinar esto el primer tiempo desde los 15 sí sí oh, qué bueno desde los 15 porque hacíamos mole para cuando se casaban mis hermanos cuando había así fiesta nos invitaban a sí sí a hacer. es bueno sí. eso es tradicional no en las sí, fiestas sí, aquí como el mole. Mole, arroz, barbacoa, tortilla <ríe> Carnitas de puerco. Carnitas de puerco, la tradicional misiote. Sí. sí. ¿Sabes cómo cocinar? Uh, ¿Berria? 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 No. ¿No? Eso sí, no. Nosotros es mirar las recetas, ¿no? En la YouTube. Sí. <risa> Por cocinar, sí. Sí. Los misiotes, sí. Eso también ve que cuando se alivió de, bueno que estaba embarazada de Dominic Beck, que le hicimos su baby shower, uh -huh. aquí hicimos misiotes. Oh, sí. uh -huh. All right, so we are cleaning the chilies. You have to take all the stuff out of the centers. Here's her little pile of stuff. This is Alexis's. This is Alexis's chili pile. And then this is my comadre's chili pile. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Alexis. But she is kind of beating you. <laughs> She's starting. Ustedes ganar, no? Porque tienen más chiles de, de ella, no? Comadre. Just like this. We're taking out all of the seeds and the ribbing on the inside. Because so we're going to heat these up and dry them out so that they can go in the polvo. <coughs> yes, you do this with gloves because these chilies are hot. And you don't want it on your skin. So protect your hands. Never rub your eyes. Just like that. Oops, one more. in the pile. Also, you should just try animal crackers fried that way. Have you ever had them that way? No, they're good. My mother, oh, when I was pregnant with Diego, my mother-in-law would fry them for her mole and stuff. But she'd also just fry them because she liked to eat them like that. And so every time I was over there, she would fry me some too. And they're really good fried like that. I didn't, I never once said they were healthy, but they're delicious. <laughs> so fried in oil. Gracias. A ver, ¿quieres un besito? ¿Eh? ¿Quieres un besito? No es cierto. <risa> Los chiles. Bien picosos. No, papi, con cuidado.
comí mi bolsa de sabroso el mole, todo esta cocina. Me encargó, ya tengo algo así acá. ¿Le ayuda? No. Ya, este otro me ayuda a sacarle. Okay. Este está caliente. Pero sí, con el trato. Saca. I have this bolsas. Dime cuándo, a ver. Ya. ¿Sí? Ya. Cuidado. A ver, esperen a que te tiene aceite y si lo echamos se va a dejar el aceite. Ah, ok. And she was making them. She's like, oh, a plate of onions. Oh. <laughs> a plate of fried animal crackers. Sure do. Do you want another one? Mmm. Two days later. Listen, there are no exact measurements here. There are no exact measurements. You gotta go by a taste in your heart. You measure with your heart when you're cooking Mexican food. Porque es mejor freírlas que echarlas así en seco. Es de que lo que pasa es que si las llevamos así sin freír, en el molino se pega. O oh, se hace como pasta. Ajá, y así no. Pero también dijo que las plantas de los plantas. Sí, las quemé. No, 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 I like them by themselves. I think they're really good. I like them. You don't like them? No. Uh -uh. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> the trick is smooth them constantly. And don't let any fall out of the pan. I told Alexis that her and I are going to do this once a year so that we have mole for the whole year. Right, Alexis? Yes. La, la polvo es bueno para un año. Sí, como la vuelta un año mole en polvo. Pero lo que yo estoy diciendo es que no va a durar un año. <laughs> y ahora los cacahuates. ¿cómo? Cacahuates. Ooh, exciting. Con ese té. Sí, con el té, sí. ¿Cuánto es el té? Bueno, se puede empezar, más o menos. Todos, comadre. La mitad, comadre. La mitad. Sí, sí, sí. Y comadre, ¿cómo sabes cuando los cacahuates son listos? Porque se ponen como... Bueno, no tan listos, pero sí. Ahorita yo lo digo como... ¿Sí? sí. No está bien, comadre. No les falta. She's taking out, like, these little... Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice? Cilantro. El antro. Sí. See those little semillas? Mm -hmm. And then this. This part. Little stems. A mí encanta como huele mm -hmm. la anís. Mm -hmm. Sí. Aquí está huele rica. Because I call them sesame seeds. I'm pretty sure they're sesame seeds. ¿Es sesame seeds, right? Yeah. Ajonjolí. I couldn't say it the first couple times. Dime She blends it in the mole. But also, yeah, I've seen it just like a couple of them sprinkled on top. A couple of sesame seeds sprinkled on top after you've put the dish together. Mm.
yo creo que vamos a freír primero la cebolla en eso. Porque si he hecho la pasta se va a quedar bien el aceite. ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Todo? Sí, por favor. Uh, eso es buenísimo. Eso es buenísimo. Sí. Venga, Camela, que la vamos a poner. A la Camela. Sí, sí, sí. Se voy a poner. Se va endulzando. Sí. sí. Antes ni se conocían y ahora hasta le están enseñando a hacer mole, ¿verdad? No, sí. Sí, pues la conocí por mi compadre, si no yo creo que nunca nos hubiéramos conocido. La verdad. Mm. Primero vino y se estuvo creo 15 días, comadre. Ajá. Ah, sí, sí cuando ¿verdad? nosotros aquí por las dos semanas. Por, sí. Y después mi compadre me dijo que tenía a su esposa, que estaba muy bonita, que... Era una norteamericana. Y ahí me estaba platicando mi compadre y me decía, y se la voy a traer comadre para que la conozca. Dice, no, mi, comadre, mi esposa es muy sencilla. Volvieron a regresar y entonces ya mi compadre que la llevó a mi casa y ahí fue donde yo la conocí. Sí. ¿Mm? Cuatro años que la conocí. Sí, cuatro comadre. años. Uh -huh. Yo creo que es una muy linda persona. Time for the reasons. So there's an important order to this. Sí. <laughs> Cookies, peanuts, uh, onion and garlic and canela and cinnamon, sorry, and then the raisins. That's the order. Look how they're blowing up. Like, sí. They're trying to turn into grapes again. Sí. <laughs> Alexis is the best babysitter, man. She's just hanging out with Dominic right now. So we're doing these outside because when you heat them up, uh, the chili gets into the air and it makes you cough. It's a little rough. So we're doing these outside, but I don't have a big enough comal to do this. So we're doing a couple just so we can show you how to do it. And then my comadre is going to take the rest to her house where she has a bigger comal and she'll, uh, and she'll finish the rest of the chilies for us. <laughs> Oh yeah. And you're basically just toasting them and sí. making sure that they don't have any water left in them. Right. Here we go. So this is part one of me learning to cook mole pablano um, with the, of course, amazing help of my comadre. Uh, so stay tuned because on Sunday, after all of this is cooled and completely dry, we will grind it all together. Thank you. We'll grind it all together and make a powder out of it. And then we'll show you how we're, how we use that powder, but the powder were lost up to a year. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. If you like what you're watching, hit that thumbs up, turn on your notifications. And as always, thanks for being here. <laughs>